Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of boxing. That is Saul Canelo Alvarez is scheduled to fight Edgar Berlanga next. Now, many fans, including myself, have been calling for him to fight more opponents like a David Benavidez or somebody. I mean, I don't know. Some, one of the, the top dogs at 175, but Canelo still does what Canelo wants. And he fought after he lost to Dimitri Bivol in May 2022. He fought an old Gennady Golovkin, John Taylor or John Ryder, Jamel Charlo or Jamal. I'm tripping. Jamel Charlo. The one who moved up, Jaime Mugia, when he said he wasn't going to ever fight another Mexican. And now Edgar Berlanga. A lot of fans are mad. Even Oscar. Oscar was roasting Canelo Alvarez, saying that, you know, even fans are starting to turn on him and it's another duck. And I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm over with Canelo. Canelo's been doing, he's been having one of the biggest duck careers in boxing. Even when you talk about the people he fought, when you break down what happened, it's all strategic. It's all calculated and i mean i don't know maybe he trying to maybe he trying to get one more payday for he cash out on david benavidez but he, he david benavidez was his mandatory for years nothing happened nothing and you have fans that just justify what canelo's doing and i, I used to be a huge fan of canelo but you could have a a 50 in uh my bad 61 and 2 record but who are you fighting and guess what the wbc and all these other sanctioned bodies aren't really going to strip him like that why because Canelo's the golden goose. They want them sanctioning fees. So he's going to keep doing what he want. He already said in Forbes that he'll fight David Benavidez when he feel like it. He ain't obligated to do nothing. And the best problem a lot of these fighters, man, these fans. But Canelo probably feel in his mind that if he go in there and he lose to David Benavidez, people won't look at him the same. And the wild part is, I have Canelo beating David Benavidez, honestly. But he, he, he moves very strategic. He never fights the top dogs. At, at any weight class i mean the guy fought amir khan amir khan moved up to fight him at middleweight amir khan moved from 147 up to 160 and people gave him a pass the liam smiths rocky fieldings i mean I, i'll give him credit for danny jacobs and i'll give him somewhat credit for uh sergey kolev even though he was already a beaten fighter by that point callum smith and I mean, I, the list just goes on and on, man. Canelo, you gonna have to fight the top dog. That's how he lost to Bivol. He was trying to pick, he was trying to cherry pick and fight Bivol and beat him. Bivol beat him easily, unanimous decision. Nick Canelo went right back to doing what he's doing. So I don't know, man. Fans are gonna finally have to stop. We gotta, if you want to see the fights you want to see, you gotta stop supporting them. As much as we love boxing, he's gonna him and other fighters. They're gonna keep playing these games over and over again why do we have to wait until 2030 to see you fight david benavidez if you fight him we've been waiting on this fight for years and these sanction these sanctioning bodies we know y'all want them that sanctioning fees but man y'all gotta start enforcing stuff and listen if canelo don't have a belt who cares who we fight but you can't hold all these belts hostage but then you want to strategically move and pick and cherry pick who you want to fight while you have your diehard fans still making excuses and I remember they were talking about he was going to possibly fight Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo, who really shouldn't even be boxing, you really was considering fighting him. I'm just, I don't know, man. Whatever, man. I, can, look, Canelo fans, y'all going to have to really give an excuse for this. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.